Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this 30,000 milliamp hour power bank from Insogo. Now I actually stopped buying from Insogo for two reasons. Firstly, the quality of the products was just awful. They look good on the site, but then when you get them, they were really poor. And the other reason is they normally make you wait weeks just to get your item. And then I found that a lot of the time I'd go to a supermarket or you know a cheap electronics store and they were selling the exact same thing for the exact same price and I could pick it up straight away. So I haven't actually used Insogo for quite a long time. Now I have my doubts about this really being a 30,000 milliamp hour battery, mainly because I've seen the exact same battery sold as a 10,000 milliamp hour and as a 20,000 milliamp hour and now it's being sold as a 30,000 milliamp hour. In fact even in Sogo themselves has sold this exact same battery with a much smaller rating before. So you can see on the back here it says 30,000 milliamp hour. And even if you look at the advert here, it says 30,000 milliamp hour. But then when you look at the small print, it says expect around 20,000 milliamp hour. Why would you sell something as 30,000 if you're only gonna get 20,000? That's like saying, oh, buy now one liter of Coke. And then in the small print, oh, expect just half a liter. It's ridiculous. Now to work out the true capacity of this, we're gonna charge it through my USB watt meter, and that will allow us to see how much power it's consumed to fully charge this thing. Now I connected a phone here and fully depleted this battery, so it's completely empty right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is plug my watt meter into our USB charger. This is a regular wall charger, and then we'll use the cable supplied with the power bank from the watt meter into the charge port of the power bank. And then if you look at the screen here, let me zoom in you can see that it's at five volts, one amp, so it's charging around 5.3 watts, and right now it's consumed the equivalent of four milliamp hour. So what we can do is we can just leave this here, it's gonna take quite a while to charge at one amp, so we'll just leave this here, and then we'll come back and see how much it actually consumed to fully charge this thing. And I'm gonna guess it's gonna be quite a lot lower than 30,000 milliamp hour. Now one thing I've mentioned in a previous video about measuring the capacity of power banks is that that 30,000 milliamp hour rating is based on the internal voltage of the batteries, which is only 3.7 volts, but we're charging at 5 volts. So why does that matter? Well, if you look at this little calculator here, you can see if I put in 30,000 milliamp hour with a voltage of 3.7 volts, that works out to 111 watt hours. So this battery pack is basically got a rating of 111 watt hours, but we're charging at 5 volts. So if I put in 5 here, calculate, you can see that works out to 150 watt hours. So you do have to bear in mind the voltage that you're charging versus the voltage of this, because you might be expecting more thinking that it's based on five volts, but really it's based on 3.7 volts. Now the nice thing about my power meter here is that not only are we measuring milliamp hour, but we're also measuring watt hours, and the watt hours takes into account the voltage. So we will get an accurate reading here. So what we're looking for, and we're currently at 647 milliwatt hours, we need this to go up to 111 watt hours. So it's got a long way to go, and we'll see what comes up. So it's finished charging now, and it took quite a while. Let me zoom in on the power meter and show you. You can see that we got 49.2 watt hours, or in milliamp hour, 9,613. So that's a very long way off 30,000 milliamp hour. So based on those results, we can confirm for sure that this is not a 30,000 milliamp hour battery. It's not even a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. And bear in mind that some of the power that was being consumed would have actually been lost to heat and different losses, efficiency losses inside this. So yeah, that rating is absolute nonsense. But let's take this one step further and use our dummy load to actually deplete the battery and see how much power we get out. So we know how much power we put in, let's see how much power we get out, and then we can take a look at the results as a whole and see what we actually think about this power bank. So I'll start by turning on the power meter. I've got my dummy load set to one amp, and everything's reset, you can see here. So let's plug it into our power bank. And there you go. I'll zoom in on this so you can see the screen. It's outputting roughly 5 volts, 0.9 amp, 4.6 watts, and so far we're at 2 milliamp hour. So yeah, let's leave this running for many hours and see how much power we manage to get out of this thing. So the power bank has stopped outputting power, and let's zoom in on the watt meter and see how much we actually got out of it. So you can see we drew 4,712 milliamp hour or 24 watt hours. So 24 watt hours is a long, long way off 111 watt hours. 
Now you might be wondering, how can we manage to put in a lot more than what we got out? So let's write down all these figures and then look at them side by side and work out what's actually happened here. So here are our final figures. It's meant to be a 30,000 milliamp hour battery and at 3.7 volts that works out to 111 watt hours. Now when we were charging the power bank we charged at 5 volts which is obviously higher than 3.7 volts so although we only pulled out 9,613 milliamp hour it was a higher voltage so that works out to 49 watt hours. So that doesn't sound too bad right? It's around I don't know maybe 40% of what this is meant to be but then when we consumed the power coming out of the power bank we only got 4,712 milliamp hour at 5 volt which works out to 24 watt hours so from what it's meant to be 111 watt hours we actually got out 24 watt hours now one of the reasons why I suspect we got a lot less out than what we put in is simply because when we're charging this it's charging at 5 volts and it has to drop that voltage down to say 4.2 volts to charge a 3.7 volt battery so a lot of that is probably wasted in heat so although it consumed 50 watt hours to charge this a lot of that was probably just wasted. And if you're curious, this is what it looks like on the inside. We have six battery cells. These are 18650 batteries, and then the charge board here. So this works out to around 22%. So it's nowhere near 30,000 milliamp hour and 22% of 30,000 would be 6,600 milliamp hour which would basically mean that these are the cheapest cells you can get pretty much like one amp hour each and that's why we're only getting 6,600 milliamp hour. So this thing is absolutely bogus and it's going back to Insogo for a refund. And this is what really annoys me. There's so many power banks being sold with these absolutely fake ratings. And the thing is nobody knows it until you've already bought it. There's no way to know if it's genuine or not so that's why I recommend sticking to the well-known brands because these generic ones you just have no idea what you're really getting you think you're getting a 30,000 milliamp hour and you're actually getting a 6,000 milliamp hour and although it may be the fault of the people that are making this because they're lying on their ratings I also blame Insogo because they know this is not 30,000 milliamp hour because they've sold the same thing before as a 10,000 and as a 20,000. So they should do their own vetting and make sure that the products they're selling are actually legit because we're trusting them as a big brand name here in the Philippines and they're just selling junk. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.